It's August 30th, 2016, and it's time to harvest the corn, so stay tuned. Hi, welcome back to Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I'm your host, Jerry Hansen. Today we're in the garden, and we're going to be harvesting the corn. We're going to cut the corn cobs off of the stalks, and then we're going to be processing them. I'm gonna do a, a variety of things with the corn. One is, of course, preserving corn uh, for food for later through the winter and, and spring. Another thing is taking the smaller corn and drying it out and then taking the kernels from that and processing it through a little uh, home mill I have and feeding it to the animals to supplement their food for through the winter. I'm also going to take one of my best cobs and we're going to hang it from the rafters of my tool shed, let it dry, and then I'll harvest those for seed crop for next year. There's a nice corn cob right there. Yummy. We're going to have corn cob for dinner tonight. Look at that. Ooh, that is yummy. There's some chicory growing among my corn. So that will be another video on wild edibles and harvesting chicory. I'm going to try something different this year. I'm going to take the smaller uh, corn cobs and just let them dry. And then I'll harvest the dried seeds or kernels. And I'll put them through a little coffee bean mill or in the mill grinder of my... Uh, blender that I have, a Vitamixer, and then uh, we'll use that as a supplement for feed for the chickens and the geese and the ducks through the winter. We got the corn harvested, now it's just time to sit around and shuck it. And then uh, the next step will be I'll be washing it and looking out for the best and biggest ear of corn I have. We're not going to shuck that. We're actually just going to let it dry. And that will be my seed crop for next year. And then I will be uh, canning or preserving the corn uh, in various different methods. Some cobs, uh, the co corn I will blanch and put in freezer bags and just throw in the freezer. Uh, other corn I will uh, take from the cob and can. Okay, for seed storage on my corn to grow a crop next year, I'm going to take this one kernel. I'll grow my whole crop from that one cob. And we'll take, when these dry out, we'll take and pull them off. But right now I'm going to take the husk, pull them back, tie them into a square knot. And just like I did last year, I hang them from this little screw I put up there and that will hang up and dry from the heat in the rafters of my tool shed. I'm your host Jerry Hansen here at Pine Meadows Hobby Farm. I want to thank you for joining me this morning. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. I always like reading your comments. Stay safe. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.